Um, so we are um, very happy that you're able to join us this evening for our talk with Yuji Haritsuka. Haritsuka, I'm sorry. Um, just so you know, this is our third talk of the fall term, and it's also the sixth and final talk of the year. Uh, we have others we're planning for next year, so be sure to visit our website at manhattangraphicscenter.org uh, so you can register for them. And while you're there, you'll be able to sign up for our mailing list and see our other events and course offerings. Our spring course schedule uh, just went online, uh, so be sure to check that out. We have a really exciting slate of classes. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Threads to keep up to date with us. If you're not familiar with our organization, Manhattan Graphic Center is a community print shop that supports the learning and practice of fine art printmaking. We provide an affordable, inclusive, professional studio and exhibition space, plus we offer classes and other pub public programs, including artist talks like this one. We also offer scholarships. Manhattan Graphic Center would like to thank the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs, the New York State Council on the Arts, and our members and other donors and friends, all who make our artist talks and other programming possible. Uh, my name is Robin Sharon, and I'm joined this evening by my colleague, Aneda Cardona. We're both part of Manhattan Graphic Center for a person management team, and we're very excited to welcome Yuji Haritsuka to our talk, artist talk series tonight. Uh, we will be doing a Q&A after his presentation, so if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the chat. You see it at the bottom of your screen, and we will try to get to all of them. Um, Eiji Haritsuka was born in Osaka, Japan. He has a BS in art education from Tokyo University and degrees in printmaking from New Mexico State University and Indiana University, from which he has an MFA. Oh, and I should backtrack uh, from New York, Mexico State University has an MA. He's been teaching printmaking and drawing since 1987 and until his retirement in 2022, served as a professor of printmaking at Oregon State University at Corvallis, Oregon. Um, Harasuka has received numerous international awards. Since 2010, he has had 13 solo shows in the US as well as in Korea, Canada, and Northern Ireland. Some of the public collections that include Harutsuka's work are the British Museum, the Art Institute of Chicago, Tokyo Centennial Museum, um, Pantsuovi Museum in Poland, the House of Humor and Satire in Bulgaria, Cincinnati Art Museum, Cleveland Art Museum, Portland Art Museum, New York Public Library, the Library of Congress, and the Smithsonian's Museum of Asian Art. And now with that, I will hand things over to Eugene. Well. Thank you, Robin. So I'm going to show my slide uh, presentation. So I'd like to switch share screen. Here we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Can you see this? Starting okay, but anyway, uh, thanks for. Yeah, no, watching I, I can see this. It's it's fine. You're fine. Yeah, it's good. Okay, thank you for watching the uh, my slides show today. Uh, as Robin explains, uh, I'm from Japan. And I live in Oregon, the West Coast. Right now, three a.m. Well, not a.m. Three p.m. Uh, afternoon and very rainy, gray. Uh, I miss sunny blue skies, but this is Oregon Northwest weather. So anyway, sorry for the noise. And let me see. Uh, I'd like to show the slides of my artwork, uh, basically two parts, let's say. You know, one is the uh, concept or the, uh, the content, what this image meaning or what it's, he's trying to say. So that's one important thing. And also the uh, Pre-making, so how I make this, you know, process or a little trick or kind of ideas, you know. So it could be like a mixture, you know, like going back and forth, or sometimes I just focus one thing more about, you know, the other uh, concept or the uh, style, then you know, uh, I just focus on the uh later on the process. I don't know, but you know, like a, as we sit, you know, they uh, you you should get those kind of information. And then if you have a questions, just let me know. Uh, Robin says 45 minutes, so I try to keep time, but the other, uh, 
you know, any any time too much, just say it's better stop kind of things. Anyway, I did in this in Japan uh, way before, maybe 40 years ago. So anyway, so just to show you what I'm doing or, the, you know, what I've been doing. These are my style. You know, what you see is what you get. You know, like um, I do, you know, make a, some other, you know, subject matter. But, you know, I've been doing this figure uh, portraits little ambiguous, you know, like the uh, style, you know, for four decades or something, a long time. And then still I'm doing this, you know. Color etchings, now in a little bit process, intaglio, uh, four color, four times printing. That's most of the time I apply, you know, you are, uh, you see, you know, here, a little bit different, you know, paper or the ink or the time, you know, like 10 years, you know, but then you see the different kind of color scheme or so, but, Anyway, so those are my uh, early, let's say, you know, 30 years, you know, like uh, uh, this is, uh, you know, soon after I moved to United States, uh, 85, 6, 7, you know, I, you know, moved to here, uh, New Mexico uh, for the, uh, the graduate program, New Mexico, Mexico State University. So that's how I started anyway. So life here, yes. And this is early 90s the uh, I when I got there the teaching uh position at Colorado College I remember in the 1990 you know uh so that's the other uh, prints I did it you can see the you know like this is a little bit to talk about process also they are here they are line okay and then if you're a printmaker you you should understand you know availability of the press size. So they are only that this size, you know, like at the school I was using the, the machines, press machines. I can print 36 by 24 inches. So this is a 36 by 24 and make, you know, want to make a bigger print so that this is a 48 now, you know, you see it. So that I put together them two prints. By the way, this is myself uh, 40 years ago, 30 five years ago and not that different you know they are I'm, I'm sure you know like I don't have much hair but the same glasses polo shots that's my style you know like uh, uh still I keep in that you know format myself yeah this is my drawing or so you know I do this comes to you know uh, later on I explain but I repeat many times you know like same image or the other style or the subject if I like it with a different way, you know, so this case was, you know, drawing like, you know, same time, like early nineties, I did it mixed media. Okay. So this one, the same, uh, same time, you know, still, I didn't have a big press access. So that, you know, I tried to find a better composition, the best way to, you know, like not showing much so that this, you know, 24 inch, 24 inch and the put center, you know, so that's the composition I had to compromise. So anyway, so big prints. Okay, this one, you know, like a straight 24 by 36, you know. Right now, a little bit, you know, like show the, uh, what is that this subject, you know, like again, coming from, I'm, you know, the, uh, these are, you know, Japanese uh, wooden toy, we call K-O-K-E, Koke, S-H-I, Kokeshi doll, you know, like a cylinder doll, like, you know, wooden, so that this bodies, if you see, the, you know, like a Google it, Kokeshi, traditional Japanese toy uh, figure, you know, they are, you see that this kind of like a style and a very straight, you know, like a, this is a cylinder and I made a, three figures, a uh, little bit different from the, uh, the gestures, you know, the arms are a little different, mouth, little different kind of things, you know, okay. Now you see the big prints, or well, big prints, I have to say, at 36, 48, uh, I have a press now, Takach, they are four by eights. I can print. So I don't have to deal with a seam. You know, that's luxury, you know. Okay, but anyway, so that's the, uh, you know, I don't have to worry about line center. These are two figures. I like a nature, the bird. Shoes, you sit. You know, other, you know, like a uh, starfish kind of things. But anyway, mainly I like, like, you know, figure moving or dancing or uh, some kind of gesture and adding a little bit, you know, like an embellishment, like this flower kind of things. But you see more. 
Tiny Prince, nine by 12, 12 by nine. Uh, I like humor, we musical, little cartoonish. Uh, so that kind of things are, you know, like my trait or the, you know, like my favorite thing. And so you can see this, you know, like not realistically, you know, like observation, you know, figures. Uh, I like a design patterns, you know, they are here the body, like a wallpaper kind of things, you know, I look for those kind of, you know, they are interesting designs, you know, and I just keep it. And then I try, try to, let's say, you know, transfer, we call technique, uh, texture transfer, let's say, okay. Again, the figure with the uh, other elements, like a nature that I do. Okay. Uh, once again, the, the prints are done by the, the four times four color printing, basically handmade or the other custom made CMYK. I print black first, not the last, and yellow, and then red, and then blue, you know, cyan, magenta. Uh, but it's not the process color. Or it's sometimes, yes, you know, but I make my own, you know, red, blue, yellow kind of things. Okay. This one is unusual. They, uh, I don't see the figure as a main subject matter, uh, but still, you know, I wanted to add a little bit figure, kind of like a, the, uh, you know, hint. So you see the boots and the hand showing up, but this is more like a nature based. This one, another unusual things showing the back, not unusual, but you know, like of course in the figure, you usually see the you know front face, but this one has a back. Right, and a lot about the design patterns. Okay, here, here. By the way, so these are just look for the, you know, they are wallpaper kind of things. You know, you can Google it, you know, like copyright free. And then I have a way to transfer, you know, uh, photocopy transfer kind of technique I use a lot. Okay, so I don't have to draw the kind of things. All right. Design. You know, they are me from the, myself from the Asia, you know, so I, I just symbolic Asian fruits, you know, persimmons, you know, I don't like it, but you know, like the, that's, I feel like, you know, like a Asian East, you know, uh, China, Korea, Japan, you know, like those are the, you know, like the places you frequently see the persimmons, but I do see it in here in Oregon when I was in Indiana, you know, so it's not the unusual things, you know, okay. Right. Okay. This is the burger. Yeah. And ketchup. I like a food. And so this is a particular Western food, right? And then once again, I introduced a lot of time or the often like a narrative, you know, story. And then story could be, you know, your story, my story. So I don't define you know, this is a part in you know, like what's exactly happening, but it's kind of interaction between two, these two figures, right? You know, and there's some <clears throat> hands sticking out, you know, doing the hair kind of things. But anyway, so it's little mysterious stories, you know, happening. And then if I have to say, you know, I can explain, but you know, like they are sometimes just the other visual element. Oh, I need a figure here. I need it, you know, they are flower, they are kind of stuff. So they are visually, I just introduce kind of things. But sometimes I do have a story, you know, uh, so. Okay. All right. Uh, hold on. The uh, what are the influence? You know, now let's say that you know, like, uh, the what image is coming from? So this one is influenced or the inspired by the Egyptian relief, the uh, carved in stone. So that's the figures. You know, like a. Uh, uh, inspired, you know, somewhat, you know, because a outfit, costume, different, but, you know, kind of repeating the two figures over and over kind of things, and they do a lot, I believe, you know, but very colorful, and a lot of designs, you know, patterns, patterns, okay. I like a mushrooms, by the way, so they are, this one is anything you can eat, kind of ideas, I did it, so they are, chicken drum, I don't know, some kind of meat, right? And then radish, uh, mushrooms, and then pills, right? You can eat in the mouth, you know, just colorful, colorful stuff, so I just added, okay. I make a often like a diptych kind of things, 
So I made a left version, and this is the right version, kind of. I'm still doing a lot of this, you know. So this one is the uh, uh, meat eaters, you know, the uh, meat ball here, you know, bacons. And this plant is a meat eating plant. So, right, you know, insects they eat, right? So meat eaters, let's say. Okay. This one is a little unique. Okay, it's kind of dark. Yes, it is dark. So they are uh, more experimental things. I printed, you know, like uh, the uh, this one and this one on one sheet of Japanese paper back on the front. Okay, that's I didn't explain so far. I haven't explained, but I printed the Japanese very thin Kozo paper a lot. So that's a little bit translucent. So they are, when you print it, you know, you can see the back side also when you see from the back, some image, ghost image. But in this case, the image are very symmetric. So I adjusted left, <coughs> left and right, excuse me. So the, uh, so these are the two prints combined and the one side, you know, I show, okay. So you can see the bacon and then like a chicken drum kind of things. Here the radish and the meatball kind of stuff. So, okay. so that's the other side also, you know. Okay. Little unusual, they are figure, but they are no face, but they are the plant, you know, like a cactus, you know, the uh, cacti cactus, I guess, succulent. I don't know, but anyway, plant I put, okay. Uh, from here, then I start doing a wings, or a, this one also Egyptian angel, Isis, you know, so the, uh, this large form, I never explained so far, but the size is 36 by 24 is my format, uh, format, my favorite. Uh, anything you can fry or the wings or the related, you know? so the uh, chicken wings in the bottom and the angel wings, right? So this only things, the uh, watermelon shortcake. I just made a birth, tattoo with a feather kind of things, right? And now you see that, you know, wings here, uh, the behind the figure, right? Okay, and then it's a hybrid. So these are the Japanese kimono, like, you know, top, this portion, fan, has a crane or something, the birds and the wings, and then Western kind of like, you know, like the, uh, the skirt, I, I guess you can see. And this is not leaves, that's the wings, you know, feather. So, all right. Now the wings here, right? Okay. Another earrings and the feather, right? Okay. Again, the big insect, you know, they are the plant. And here's a big thing, right? And here's the insect wings, dragonfly, like a, and then. Okay, little added a little symbolic, you know, focal point and lows, red. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Another wings. This one, yeah, tiny bit, you can see the here. Uh, kimono. I'm playing the uh, game, a card game. The obi has a bird's wings. And this one, the card has a, a the bat, you know, B-A-T, the uh, wing, well, wings, you know, so all related. Camellia, not a Japanese flower, like I know they are symbolic Asian flower, I think, at least myself, you know, and then Western tiara, kind of mixture, Japanese hair, kind of like ornament. Obi, the belt, right, okay. Selfie, right? Okay. Little bit only like, I know they are a the little bit horn things, you know, and then, ah, sorry. Mm -hmm. The floor has a lot of patterns in this case, right? Okay. This is a wing, or well, a tiny wing here, but this is also wing, you know, they are, this is the uh, Japanese, the uh, coin. You know, a long time ago, we call Koban, you know, they uh so this person, you know, that we made up from the other uh, uh, coin, Japanese coins, 
uh, expensive coins like uh, 200 years ago, like all gold, you know, expensive ones. You know, okay. But also has a tiny wings here. Okay. Uh, few other things, you know, I just leave the face blank. You know, I'm sure the people will ask, you know, like, you don't have any other much features. And then I just leave it ambiguous, you know, mysterious. A uh, little bit, you know, I, you know, I shadow things. I start adding recently, last five, six, seven years, and then cheek being real pink, but basically blank, you know, when you see in the front. And then, you know, mouse has a little bit, you know, the uh, feature, you know, open with the clothes, you know, but the other, it could be anybody, you know, and then it could be laughing or the other crying or the happy or the sad. I just leave it, you know, viewers decide you, know, you should enjoy kind of stuff. This has a little bit, you know, like a dry flower, you know, falling on the ground kind of things. You know, okay. Again, same ideas, you know, the uh, mysterious face, ambiguous face. Okay, this one also the wings or the uh, uh, flying ideas, you know, like here, drawn. This one is like a turkey vulture hybrid. You know, I just made a bird in my own. Okay, and a lot of wings in the horse. Okay, angel wings, insect wings, shopping bag. Right, you know, spending something, Christmas shopping, maybe. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Another of my favorite things is the uh, food. So uh, this table has the again, you know, like a Japanese typical, you know, like a, the food here, chopsticks here, green tea, and then uh, edamame. Just messy. This person, this. Takoyaki, I don't know how many of you know these kind of things, but the Japanese street food, you know, and the udon noodle, right here. So that's the, uh, the my favorite. And so this person is posing these couples, two girls, because they are, this person is photographing, trying to photograph on the cell phone, but actually the person trying to capture the scene is not focusing on these two figures, but the Focusing on this palm tree. So you see the palm tree on the other cell phone screen, right? Try to be funny, you know, with musical kind of things, right? Drawing also a little bit process. What's happening? My art making. So start with the contour lines, any cheap paper. I don't have any BFK. Well, you can see the sketchbook paper. You can see it, you know, non archive or just the other sketch it. The many of you know the printmaking and my kappa printing, but also woodblock or the lithography. It's sometimes very difficult to change in the middle of the uh, uh, the process. Once you have an image on the plate or the the block, there's no easy to change like a drawing the charcoal paper or the painting on the canvas. Oh, I don't like it, you know, over paint it or the, you know they erase it. You can't do that. So. Uh, these kind of things are very important for me, at least, you know, like fixing up the contour lines. I don't care the shape, color, design in terms of inside of the, you know, like a, uh, patterns kind of stuff. Just need a, you know, like a, a line to fix, you know, start with, you know, I need to have it. So you can see here the prints completed and here is a drawing at the, you know, flip, but the other, you can see the, you know, how I started. Line drawings, in, you know, way to start. And then done, then transfer these line on, you know, lines, you know, go to the plate. <coughs> I make a, a, you see from here, the, uh, my image making, uh, what you can say, you know, like a, the figure, right? Has a color. And then say, you know, we call it like a negative space, a background. It's monochromatic, and I do a lot. So I, this one is basically made up from the two plates. This one plate, I mean, the two plates means the four, two different images combined. Okay, you see it, what I'm talking about next. You see it, I change the background. It's not the digital change, you know. Physically, I print on a different image. You can see that. You can see that. 
So I make like a few patterns sometime. Okay. Like here, left and right, you know, their main figure, you know, like uh, with the color is the same, but the, the background, you saw this plate already image before, you know, uh, wings. Anyway, so background changed, right? And I can do that. By the way, I do also drawing, work some paper. So slightly different from the prints. This is like a mixed media, you know, pastel charcoal kind of things. This is the most recent, like a few months old, my favorite right now, because, you know, recent. So they are, Pay attention, please. You know, the uh, here portions here has a full color or a very subtle, you know, like the color, right? Top to bottom. Okay, and the background very monochromatic and a little bit I added color, you know, so that's the um, okay. Next. That's the original print. I did it many, many years ago. And I used this background for this guy. One more time. So this is the most recent print. Okay, pay attention to the background at the same place. And I, you know, this, I did it like a 15 years ago or something, you know, okay. This one different again, different means, you know, background different, but they are, they are figure the same. Okay. By the way, this one called a thong angel, you know, they are the needle everywhere, you know, neck also, they are heart shape. Right, okay. But has the wings. If you see carefully, you know, observe carefully, you can see the wings. All right, so what is this background? Okay, changed, All right? So that original, okay, so here's a mushroom thing. So you, you can see it, right? So that's the original. They are again like 15 years ago. I made this. So I used these curtain things and the mushroom things for the other most recent prints. Right? So I recycling a lot of image. I have a plate. So you know I keep those plates and then how I can use this again, kind of ideas. So now this is a new image, most recent. I haven't finished it. So I'm working on this, you know, like the white portion is the other color or the main figure. And so just I'm playing with, you know, uh, so that's the one background potential stuff. Another background, another ones, right? So anyway, so that's how I just play with it, you know, thinking, you know, like a uh, way of making something more interesting. Oh, I have more, okay. So that's the other uh, image, main figure, uh, front. I rather more detail of the color of course. This is a drawing on the tracing paper, you can see it. Again, the udon came, my favorite food, street food. You know, it's a white noodle, uh, very light, you know, like a soy sauce flavor kind of things. Uh, okay. Green onions here, right? And fish cake. Oh, yummy. So that's the first prints edition, or oh, not edition, but a proof, you know? Uh, okay, so chopsticks, angel swing, moon here. Okay, they are showing up. So that's, I had the, uh, the edition up to yellow. So way to go, long way. This won't be finishing till February or something. Uh, it's a long process, you know. I don't want to rush or so. So I just finishing up yellow and then I got to do the editions. Okay. Once again, uh, Japanese typical kind of like, you know, girls, you know, like a hairstyle here, you know, we call uh, Bob here, but Okappa, you know, they are lots of elementary, you know, kindergarten, you know, girl has this kind of hairstyle, you know. 
ornament, hair ornament, and then crane, jump roping, right? Lots of patterns on the body. Okay, so that's the version one. Version two. You can see the other bars now here, right? Okay. Is it version three or I forgot? Okay, so so that's the third version, right? A little busy, but anyway, so that's how I make it. So now you see that, you know, like this is the two prints, but the other, you know, one print line goes the center, but, you know, parsimon again, rose, or that this one is very ambiguous fruit. I make up, you know, like my own, you know, this one also the uh, strawberry, but not like a strawberry, you know, the leaf, right, leaves. Okay. And left and right, please remember what kind of shape you see now and then here. So that's the one of the, you know, like I image you already see, you know, left side or right side, I forgot about it here, right? So background, these are small points, like a nine by 12, 12 by nine. Okay. One more time. I made this first, then I kept this plate and I reused it for background like that, and then like this. Okay. This one is more interesting for many people. How I make color printing process? I make a block. Print on the Japanese Kozo paper, as I mentioned. Okay, these are color registration system I have here. You can see the line. Okay, so black, yellow, how to read it, but that's the yellow prints. Hands are yellow. Yellow doesn't have a much, you know, different kind of like the uh, depth of the color, you know, like a hues, uh, you know, kind of light. So there are only two or three at most. Darker yellow, lighter yellow, that's about it, you know. Black and yellow. Make a red plate. So red has a little bit maybe, you know, like a, or here, very easy to see. One, two, three. Light, medium, dark yellow I made, right? Pink, right? Now you see the three colors, black, yellow, red. <clears throat> so when you see the yellow and the red, it makes a little orangey color, but the straight red is a red. You can see it, right? So make a lot of, you know, like a, a depth, you know, not just a three color, you know, three color plus black makes a lot of difference. Secondary color, that's kind of my ideas, you know. My colors are very like a, a water color, like, you know, like a translucent, the light means, you know, like a paper's colors, you know, it's not a mix with the white, of course, you know. Aqua tint, you know, less etching, more etching, and then use a one blue ink, and then you can make a lighter blue, darker blue, right? Okay, and medium blue. So that gives a lot of complex shades or color, you know, lighter green or, you know, yellow green, darker green, or, you know, purplish color, all kinds of things, you know. So anyway, blue, so that's the finish. Four color. You can see blue and the red, red and the yellow, but purple or the orange, you know, greens, secondary color showing up. So that's in you know, the browns also here, right? Okay. So using a three times three color printing, but makes a lot of color. That kind of ideas I try to get, you know, the uh, maxing. Recent, most recent prints. Again, I'm mounted, you know, they are, I printed on the Japanese paper as is. It's called shinkore, but you know, not exact shinkore, you know, like I print on this kozo paper straight uh, till I finish the uh, edition. Why I do that? Because of this paper, when in wet moisture, it's translucent. So I can see through the image underneath a you know, plate, which has the ink, ink plate. By the way, so this one a little different, you know, they are, this one has a four color, almost done, yeah, I guess, you know, maybe a little, you know, maybe not. Uh, key 
as a block. And this one I didn't do it, but instead I use a power book, you know, as a key. So that's the color of the hair, you know, you can see so two different things. Yellow or red, you know, those two colors are the same, I think, you know. Okay. On the blue also, yeah. Okay, so this one's purple, yellow, red, blue. This one black, yellow, red, blue kind of things. Okay. Finished. So that's the purple versions, I think. Mm -hmm. Once again, the uh, I like a little decorative art nouveau kind of you know the uh, design here. You can see it, you know, inspired. All right, okay. Fingertips are red, that's my style, you know, like because I, you can touch the object, the things on the fingertips first, you know, so that's for most sensitive. So I just emphasize being red. Now next, black version. So you can say, I like a purple version. I like a blue, uh, black version, you know, anyway. 18 by 12, you know, they are 18 inch tall and 12 inch wide. This one conditioning the plates, uh, polishing the plate kind of things. And then I have a pneumatic, you know, the compressor uh, palm sander. I use like a, a grinding the uh, uh, 200, 400, depends, you know, but they are up to like a 1500, you know, Beyond like, you know, 1,000, it's already, you know, like more, most like a polishing, it's not a grinding or, you know, so anyway, then finish with the uh, buffer, you know, you can see Brasso, you know, the metal polisher, make it shine, shiny, you know, that's how I start. A uh, little bit back to the other, uh, content, you know, I had a little bit, you know, connection to the Russia uh, before the, uh, of course, the uh, conflict with the Ukraine or the COVID. Uh, I traveled many times or a couple of times and I had a show, you know, like museum, they don't have a gallery, gallery, you know, so, you know, public institutions, uh, three, four, five places and I had a show. So anyway, so I just made some connection between the Japan and then uh, Russia, you know, so that's uh Russian design here and then uh Japanese Kokusai Weber, something very popular kind of stuff. And you can see it, you know, but maybe Phoenix, right? And maybe, so just a kind of like a two cultures I just put together kind of stuff. Where the other image come, you know, influenced or the inspired, so a little bit you know, like other image information. So that's my prints, of course, right? That's the uh, kind of inspired Ukiyo-e prints. Utamaro, right? Same compositions, right? This one, just pay attention here. SUE, I guess this is the Y, right? This is my prints. Chop Suede, uh, Edward Hopper paintings. All right, my prints, where this came? Manet Olympia paintings. This one, my prints, little, you can see the hint, like here, the pipe, you know, anyway, so that's here, my prints. Rene Magrid, okay, paintings. Prince, Prince, Prince. I had made a few versions of this. Oh, by the way, so they are, again, peonies, you know, this, you saw the fruits, my hybrid fruits, I made my own. And then, uh, what I can say, oh, here, looking at the apple, this is the uh, snow white, kind of like inspired these portions. Okay, that's the other uh, snow white, the other uh, garment outfit. Okay, and here's the uh, Western, you know, the other uh, uh, dress, you know, you see it, you know, like origin, okay. But 
here is a Asian, I think my, at least my understanding or the, you know, Japanese kind of symbolic flower kind of stuff, you know, peonies, maybe wrong, but I thought, you know, so that's why I did it. Another version. One more time, going back again. Right? <clears throat> I made a three versions, three different images, slightly different color or the, you know, some visual element, you know, uh, switched kind of things. Okay, so. Diego Velazquez. Las Meninas, right? So that's the uh, here. Oh, I like these skirts, these little girls. I tried to get something, you know, next project. I saw that's why I, I use that, you know, style or so, you know. But, you know. So lots of information, you know, like are they, uh, you know, out there. And then I always pay attention Pinterest, you know, Google image, anything inspired. I just keep it and then put in my, drawer and then I pulled out next time, you know, like, oh, let's find something interesting. And this one is a little bit mixed media kind of like, you know, this background is not my artwork or, the, you know, just uh, the uh, decorative paper. Uh, I collage it. So there, this one, you can buy the at a brick store kind of things, you know, or the Japanese paper store. Okay, Chiyogami, you call it, you know. Okay. But anyway, so that's the gold silk screen, I think, screen print, I think. Uh, this one is just I wanted, you know, explain or go by you know unusual, but you know I like to add a lot of things, you know, element, you know, like I use already so you know like busy busy, you know they are here. I like to put the flowers here, the flying bird here, the udon noodle here, some kind of like uh, uh, they are the earring, all kinds of things, you know. Uh, I feel like you know like uh, they are comfortable, you know, adding that, but uh, this time intentionally. Like a Zen, Z E N aspect, you know, they are the emptiness. I try to emphasize it. So I try to not put, so that's the point. And people liked it, you know. Oh, I like this one, a little different, you know. Okay, but one shot, I won't be making, you know. But anyway, still, I like it, you know. Uh, not, don't overdo, you know. Don't do it. But the other uh, kimono has a lot of, you know, like a design things, you know, and the obi also, right? Here, the same figure. Okay, so I start adding more things, you know, making collage like things, you know. Uh, the print is, you know, like a print on the Japanese paper. So, you know, like I cut a little bit, you know, the other, uh, I don't know how I can explain, but you know, I can make a one image out of the two prints of the same, you know, like a, a image and I mount on the other, you know, rug paper. So that's how I did it. I like that, you know, like a big tulips. I made a few other, other versions, you know, collage, one of a kind. Zodiacs, you know. Next year, by the way, is a dragon, year of dragon, you know, 24. Right. <clears throat> Little different, you know, the house on fire, you know, I painted this in acrylic, so that kind of mixed media. It's a small print. Very tiny. This one, I think I did a collage like here, you know, like sunflower. Okay, but oh yeah, he has another version. So you can see it. <clears throat> so this one, one unit edition, twenty-four by uh, eighteen prints, and then I cut this shape and I mounted on you know, uh, the collage wall to make other artwork, use it next. <clears throat> like here, face changed and I added some flower kind of things, right? Uh, lotus flowers, little berry Asian flower kind of things. <clears throat> I kept adding, right? So that's a kind of huge print, like 60 inch by 40 some inch, you know, like a one of a kind works on paper, sunflower here. Right, <clears throat> okay. And each other unique flowers, uh, not for fruits, or vegetable, I think, you know, mushroom here. 
more experimental, uh, experimenting. Uh, this one actually two plates combined, okay? This part and this part is different, but I printed one sheet of, you know, BFK or the, you know, arches, big sheet of paper, okay? So that's, next you see it, where this image coming from, okay? I just added a color, you know, a little, little tedious, but there are, uh, you see the four season here, by the way. So this image is originally made from this print and other prints, you know. By the way, so this one is the all time-based, you know, they are, you know, I guess four season time, ice cream, time food. That is watch, melting watch, time in the base, Time pizza, T H Y M E time, you know, like uh, not a T I M E, you know, but anyway. This is me. Had a little bit, you know, their top cut off, but it's a Time magazine kind of the printmaker, you know, myself. Okay. So that's the other part, right? Again, you know, like a Japanese street food and some kind of like, you know, like a uh, popular food, you know. Yeah. Okay, tempura udon. This one, they are raw fish, you know, kaisen don, you know, like, you know, tuna, all kinds of some shrimp, all kinds of things, you know, like a sushi ingredients, all topping, you know, very expensive, you know. I I think, you know, okay. by the way, you know, cherry flower tea bowl, a cup, right? Same thing, this has a, like a three, three plates came from. I don't have any uh, reference this, but you know, like you see, you may have seen this, you know, like an angel's wings, you know, so anyway, so it's a huge 60 inch wide or something. Walk some paper. And I don't know, completely no, I just left as is, you know, the, uh, I don't know what to do, so I just left it. I do the wood block. Me, Japanese, uh, I do the workshop, you know, like a mokuhanga, you know, uh, hand printing with a brush, you know, not inking Laura, you know, like water-based ink. So that's the prints, printed with Japanese kozo paper again. Drawings, okay, you see the wings there, right? Yeah. Okay, anything flies, frying fish. I made some, where is it? Oh, here, All right? The bars, of course. Throws. Big drawing, like a, it's a tall 60 inch, again, like a you know, 40 inch kind of huge drawing. I like a big size matters for me. You know, if I let me do anything, I like to go big and the prints or the drawing anything. And I don't like a small ones for necessity, you know, like, oh, there's some kind of like a, the entry requirement, you know, oh, you need to make a this side. Okay, I can do it. But the other, if I have a freedom, I just keep making a big ones. Mm. These are big prints drawing, you know, no, not prints, sorry, drawing. Mushrooms, I like a mushrooms and the bars frying things, right? Okay. I had a chance to walk at the tamarind in the New Mexico. So these are the lithography. I originally studied the, uh, the uh, lithography when I was in Japan. So color is more like a natural, you know, color plate, color stones. That's how I studied in printmaking. So anyway, so that's a little version, you know, like this version, this version set, you know, okay. The clues, okay, okay. So I made a watercolor. While I'm waiting the editions, you know, they are, I have nothing to do. So yeah, what I can do, you know? So I start making a, a watercolor in my, you know, apartment. All right, one more time. These are prints. So I, while I'm killing my time, I start walking the watercolor. I made another bunch of here, right? Also, when I get home, I start doing the etching also. So this is the etching version, color prints, intaglio. <clears throat> okay. Lots of food, again, you know, shrimp, uh spaghetti you know pasta french fries broccoli and uh fried egg anyway 
other style I make a fan uh, on the front and the back this, you know, back and front. Book, handmade book with my prints. <clears throat> Accordion style or the Coptic stitch, you know, like a book, you know, conventional style, you know, I make those. Sometimes I do workshop, how I do, or how you can make, you know, this kind of stuff, All right? Original handmade book. This one like interacting, this is a book style while, you know, like a transporting, but uh, you can open up. And then make a one side, you know, like 18 by 24, you know, when you, this is a book, one unit. But anyway, when you spread it, you can make a one big image kind of stuff, you know, interactive book. Toward the end, almost. Uh, I do have a couple of plate after the editions, you know, so sometime, I don't do much recently, but you know, they are, these are the plates cut in the square. And what I do, I made a box. And what are you gonna do with the box? I have no idea, but people like it. Some people <laughs> want it. Okay, you can have it. <clears throat> uh, you can put a glass here, you know, coffee table, base. You know, some people use it like that. Like that, I think this is it. Okay. Hi, um... Any Q and A or Anything? Um, hi, I'm, I'm gonna interrupt you. So I think um, we're we're getting close to, um, we're, we're running short on time. So I wanted to make sure we leave time if anyone has any questions. Sorry, yeah, uh-huh. I went 10 minutes extra. <laughs> I don't know about so, so does anyone have any questions they'd like to ask? Actually, I have a question I'd like to ask you. Um, how do you register your plates? Because these are like multi-plate. Perfect. Right. Okay. So they are one thing is you know they are. This goes more like five minutes to explain, but they are they are number one. I print on a very thin Japanese paper, so their paper is very translucent while the print is wet. You know, intaglio prints, so I can see through the plate. So that's the registrations. You know, get it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Another thing is the you know I do use the one plate for entire four times printing. So what I'm saying is that I make a black plate and I do the addition down. So you still have a black plate left, and I alter that black plate to the yellow plate by grinding down and keep etching. And so copper plate by the time I finish the other uh, four times printing, you know they are plate would be very thin, but I use a one single plate. Idea is came from, as I mentioned, I start for other lithograph artists. So they are, when you do the one stone uh, color printing, you make an image and do the edition and the finish edition for first color or first shape. Still you have a stone with a shape counter edge. So you see the ghost image and I do work for their next color kind of stuff, you know? It's like a deduction you know, color deductive, you know, like a, a wood block, line block kind of print ideas. One block for color printing, but you know, this case, my copper plate, I can add it by grinding down. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, and obviously it works because they're perfectly registered. You know. Yeah, you know, they are, I did keep the contour lines deep edge, so I don't lose it. So entire you know, black, yellow, red, blue, uh, red, blue, you still see the contour lines, you know, there on the copper plate. So I can, you know, uh, make, you know, you know, the design within that image, you know, there with a the line, you know, like uh, uh, guidelines, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we have a question from Patricia Perito. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, and she's asking, why make artists books? Ah, uh, why? <laughs> Because I have extra time sometimes. You know? <laughs> uh, I like it, you know, the, uh, because I have a print and then sometimes, you know, prints could go on a frame, but the, the, I have a, those, you know, thin Japanese paper, you know, leftover image. And I just put together with the, uh, uh, you know, mount on the BFK and then, uh, you know, make a, you know, like a Gordian shape, you know, uh, books. So I do make some, but not always, but, uh, you know, 
it's, it's not my main, you know, activities, but uh, some side, you know, like if I feel like it. So I don't make, you know, like, you know, 10 books a year, unless I was commissioned or such a things, you know, but sometimes if I feel like it, I do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, does anyone else have any questions that you'd like to ask? Um, just put them in the chat. Um, um, Patricia said thanks. Um, so mm -hmm. anyone have any other comments, questions? Just put them in the chat. No other questions. Open. You sure? Good. <laughs> um, all right. So if there's no other questions. Wonderful. Um, I think it's cause, probably because you answered them all in your, your talk before people even got a chance to ask them. Um, so anyway, thank you very much. This was like really wonderful. It's great to hear you talk about your work and explain how thank you thank you for inviting me. yeah mm -hmm. how how you how you make it. It was really fascinating. Uh -huh. um, and um, I would um just like to um give a reminder to everyone that's here uh, to give our website a visit manhattangraphiccenter dot org. Uh, you'll be able to sign up for future talks, see our other events and classes, and join our mailing list. Also, please follow us on Instagram, Threads, and Facebook to keep up to date. Um, the recording uh, for this talk will be posted to the, our YouTube channel soon. So as I said, you can always um, go back and watch it again. Um, and one last thing, if you're in our neighborhood, um, please stop by to see our annual member show, which opens tomorrow. And um, if you're around Friday, evening the reception will be 6 to 8 p.m and i guess with that um i want to thank well, i just um, i want to say really quickly um thank you so much for sharing so much of your process i really liked the cmyk um slides that you showed that was really cool to look at thank you so much mm -hmm. yeah, no it's it very interesting um, um so um, also I was saying you, 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 the reception for our member show will be Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, and I guess, I guess that's it. That's a wrap. So I want to thank everyone for joining us and have a great night. And um, it's hard to believe that the holidays are almost here. So happy holidays. Um, okay, thanks everyone. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, Eugene. Thank you so much, Eugene. Thanks. Bye now. Bye-bye.